So one thing that's been circulating in the community recently, and it's actually had me really happy, is the fact that Courtney LePlant basically said trans fucking rights. And of course you're always gonna have people on both sides of the spectrum. I made an entire like 30 minute video essay about that. But this also hit close to home just because this is someone that I really enjoy as an artist and have covered a lot on this channel, so this crossover is fucking awesome. And Maybe even we'd get a collaboration in the future. But basically what we got here is Spirit Box, obviously one of the biggest names in modern metal, as well as Courtney LePlant one of the biggest lead front women in metal period went on the record and kind of did this little cool thing where it was honoring a variety of women in metal spheres people that trailblazed or people that are currently doing a lot for the niche and community in a way to sort of boost up and empower women and I am all for that because I've talked many times before about how this niche not only really weirdly fetishizes a lot of female vocalists just in general but also holds them to a different standard and treats them in a completely different light in a really weird Weird, gross, over-exaggerated way. So coming from this really badass figure who I know a lot of girls look up to, who a lot of women look up to, I think that's a really cool idea and it shows and provides a voice for people and for women and girls that don't have a lot of people to look up to in a very male-dominated niche and I don't think that can ever be a bad thing. But the thing that kind of caught a lot of people off guard and it's been circulating a lot on Twitter, on social media stuff, is the fact that one of the people that she shouted out was Connie Scarbosa of Sea Space Cowboy, and if you are unfamiliar with that project or that band or Connie as a whole, she's a transgender woman and one of the most openly trans people in the community period, and there is just not that much representation unless you're talking about Against Me, See You Space Cowboy, or Liturgy, we really don't have that much trans representation, or even in many ways LGBT representation in a lot of metal and rock, which a lot of it, based on the approximations of my comment sections anytime I talk about it, it comes from an stemmed from fear a lot of time. And the thing that I adore about this, and I think this is the one thing I want to emphasize, is not once did Courtney say at all that she was a transgender woman or that she was doing so much for transgender rights or that she was doing so much for trans women in metal. She literally just said, one of the women I want to shout out is Connie Scarbosa. She is great at what she does and what See Space Cowboy does is versatile and dynamic and shows the fluidity in music. That was amazing. And that's what we need to see more of is people just not being afraid to bring people up in conversations as just people. And it's really funny because a lot of CU Space Cowboy's messaging and lyricism, it relates to a lot of identity related stuff. And Connie Scarbosa has gone on the record talking a lot about identity, both in her music as well as interviews and things of that nature. So for Courtney LaPlante to just push that all aside, she obviously knows and she's not unfamiliar with CU Space Cowboy, what they stand for, what they represent, or that Connie is a trans woman. She's one of the most outspoken advocates. Her just being willing to come out and say, this is a woman I want to shout out. She is awesome, she's badass, this is what she does for the community. I think that is the most important way that you can bring stuff up into conversation with any sort of group, marginalized or not, whatever form you want to say it comes in, whether it be LGBT, whether it be a different type of ethnicity or a place in the world or just a group that maybe is overly stigmatized most of the time. The best way that you can acclimate people to that, whether it be people that are younger or people that are older, is to just put them in front of them and say, this is just a fucking person. They're living their life. They're doing their own thing. And I can't stress enough how not only incredible but important it is that Connie wasn't just categorized down to a label and she wasn't just lumped into a box. She wasn't just the token trans person that was thrown in at the end for some sort of brownie points. The way that Courtney delivered this was natural. It was fluid. And she just lumped her in with the rest of the women that she was talking about. And that is fucking awesome. <laughs> and for people that end up getting into CU Space Cowboy because of this, they're not going in with some preconceived notion or having some stigma in their head that Connie Scarbosa is, you know, a trans person. They're going into it thinking this is a metal band that has a woman front woman, a woman lead vocalist. And at the end of the day, if they find out later that she happens to be trans or something along those lines, it wouldn't cloud their initial reaction. And I don't think you should ever just boil someone down to their label. Because if someone's label automatically makes you 
like or dislike something that they made creatively without even going into it. I think you missed the entire point of artistic expression and representation along the way somewhere, and I hope that you're not too far gone. <laughs> but what are your guys' opinions of this? Let me know down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear it. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying fair well.